hey everyone it's yaya royal again and i'm back with another video welcome back to my channel so this is the wig that i'm doing for you guys today I wanted to do something different something icy something gray so in today's video i'll be showing you guys how i went ahead and i water dyed this wig and styled it so if you want to see how i achieved this look continue watching this video Alrighty everyone, so let's get into this tutorial. I'll be using Ali Pearl Hair and it is Platinum Blonde and it is a 10 inch bob wig. And I'll be using Adore Platinum Color and Got To Be Glue Spray just to go ahead and make sure that I protect my lace. Alrighty, so I begin pouring the Adore Platinum Color into the bowl and I just go ahead and pour it in there and then I begin pouring hot water into the bowl and then I go ahead and mix the color with my mixing color brush just to make sure that the water saturates and mixes with the water inside the bowl. Now I go ahead and I put the wig inside the bowl with the watercolor in it and I just go ahead and I move the wig around with my hands just to make sure that the color saturates and is able to go ahead and process on the wig. And look how pretty it is when I pull it out the first time and then I place it back in the water and pull it out again and just look how icy and platinum and grayish it is and i'm just loving this color i'm icy icy because i'm feeling icy yes i am loving this color yes it's so pretty yes it is so so pretty now that the color finished processing on the wig i go ahead and i squeeze all the excess water off of the wig and then i begin rinsing the color off of the wig and i just continue just rinsing it off making sure that i get all the excess you know dye that was on it and i go ahead and apply my ogx coconut oil miracle conditioner onto the wig and then once i go ahead and i apply the conditioner on the wig i make sure that I comb it out and make sure I leave the conditioner on it for about 10 minutes and then once I go ahead and I let the conditioner process on the wig I go ahead and comb it out once again and then once I'm done combing it out I go ahead and I begin to rinse it. As you can see here now, I am rinsing the conditioner off of the wig, making sure I get all of the conditioner off of it. And the wig is just looking so, so pretty. Look how icy it is. That color is just so beautiful and it processes really, really well. I love the color that it came out to be. It's just so pretty. And I can't wait till you guys see the finishing look at the end. It's just so, so beautiful. I am so loving it, so icy, yes. So I squeeze the excess water out and it's just so cute. And now I bring out my spray bottle and I do use this spray bottle so it is easier for me to be able to pluck the hairline. And this wig already came pre-plucked so I didn't have to do really much plucking to it but I did go ahead and clean out, you know, the edges and some extra parts that I saw that needed to be plucked. And as you can see here, I am plucking behind the hairline 
and you always want to make sure that you always do pluck behind the hairline and I just continue those steps and I just part it section by section and I plug behind the hairline and as you can see here I'm using the plucker and I'm plucking behind it and just taking all, all the extra hair that I don't want on the lace so the lace could look as natural as possible and I do want my hairline looking very very natural because don't nobody want a wig that don't look natural you want that thing to be slayed and laid to the gods you know what i'm saying guys Now I begin to use my Andes hot comb and I just start hot combing the hairline and all the front part of the frontal. Just making sure that the frontal is laid and as flat and seamless as possible. And I continue hot combing it section by section just to make sure that it is flat and beautiful and it's not bulky and I just continue repeating those same steps on the other side of the frontal as well and I just make sure that I get all the hairs to make sure it is so beautiful. Now I go ahead and I bring out my olive oil foam wrap from ORS and I go ahead and I begin applying the foam wrap onto the lace and I do go ahead and do that due to the fact that I do want the hairs on the lace to be as flat as possible and seamless and it just goes ahead and it molds the hair in place so the hair could go ahead and stay in place and it just makes it look as flat and beautiful and natural as possible. So I'm done applying the foam wrap. I go ahead and I come back and I start using my hot comb again. And I just go ahead and pass the hot comb through the hair to make sure that it's molded in place and it's just as flat and as seamless as possible and you see how the hairline it just looks so pretty and now i just continue cutting the bob more evenly and getting out the excess hair that i don't want there to just make sure that the bob is even and it's pretty and you know i just like my wigs perfect and yeah so I just continue cutting it and taking out the excess hair that I don't want there. And now I begin flat ironing the wig and styling it using my Annie flat iron. And I love that flat iron. I'll leave the link in the description box. And yeah, so I just start parting it section by section and I go ahead and I just start flat ironing the hair and I do it section by section and you know, I just flat iron it straight and then just do it section by section and yeah, it's pretty much simple and repetitive. I just keep continue doing the same steps. I just go ahead and I grab some hair, take the flat iron, and flat iron it straight and then just take it section by section again and flat iron it straight and just continue those repetitive steps by flat ironing it in the same steps in motion.
is the finishing look of the bob once i'm done flat ironing it and i am so loving it it is so cute so pretty and look at the color it's so icy yes icy icy yes so pretty look at the color yes shake it shake it shake it girl shake it show them what you're made of yes guys i did go ahead and apply the wig off camera and this is how the wig looks on me and i'm so loving it it's so pretty so vibrant and i'm just loving this platinum color yes it's so icy icy yes i'm so loving it thank you so much guys for watching this video and please let me know what you guys think what color you guys want me to do next what other videos you want me to do just feel free to leave it down here in the comment section below and guys don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and please don't forget to comment below as well i'm icy icy yes i'm clean thank you so much for watching everyone i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys in the next video until next time